Hi all, in today's video we are going to see how we can set up a MVC project for our newly installed site for installation. So let's start with the basic first. We need to check the uh, site core uh, support portal and we need to check the compatibility. Right now uh, we have installed 10.2 XP. So the expectation is that it should run on 4.8 uh, .NET framework and uh, sp.net mvc 5.2 and above is required <coughs> visual studio 2019 or 17 but recently 22 has been uh, <coughs> released so i will go ahead with 2022 and we'll see if that supports our mvc project or not so let's start let's open visual studio okay so we'll create a blank solution first Blank solution. I've named this as demo dot mvc. This is the location where I want to keep it. So blank solution has been created. Now within this blank solution, I will add. this is my vanilla installation. So I've kept a, a backup copy of. Uh, the folders and the files within this because if i will make further changes and will integrate this vanilla file with my new project probably if something gets corrupted then even my this vanilla installation will become unusable and i have to either fix the changes or i have to roll back the changes there were lot there will be lots of complexity involved so what i have done i have created a zip folder and i have put it uh, oh, as a backup over my desktop uh, this one okay. okay so to this i will add a new project here okay, application dot net framework okay do not get it confused with view controller or core wp wave api if you are using 2019 for you you might get a different option so but but make sure that you select this option sp.net wave application .net framework okay we will name it as site code demo not wait or oh, site code demo framework 4.8 has been selected because this has been asked here 4.8 okay now we will click on create I will select empty here but will select MVC so that I get a predefined structure of MVC but an empty solution or else if you will select MVC a default home controller will get created. Okay, so I do have my uh, project created. Now the first thing is uh, we will go to this babe.config. and properties build action I will select as none save accordingly I will select uh, web config in uh, views also I will make it as none okay so both are none now the next thing is uh, we need to add few uh, DLLs so in our init pub, pub folder, if you go and check in C init pub your project root directory and the site core when installation bin. Here if you will see you will see site core kernel uh, site core kernel somewhere uh, site core MVC analytics. Okay. See site core kernel, site core MVC and site core MVC analytics. So we need to install these three. Uh, using nugget package manager so we can go to manage nugget packages okay. so before you proceed further you also need to find the location or address for 
uh, site core packages so you need to copy this you can google it and you can go get it over site core mygate dot org as well so if you will uh, go to package manager there you will see this screen then here it's showing package source as visual studio offline packages so here we need to add one more source so if i click on this one i will be able to add a new source so i will name it as site core <coughs> add site core and the package source will be this location okay okay now we need to browse site core kernel site core dot kernel search for site core dot kernel so the version i am installing is for 10.2 Okay, then you do have option dependency behavior you can select ignore dependency because we already have these DLLs in our vanilla installation file so there is no dependency and then we can install so this is getting installed I will select ok I accept it's getting installed so this has been installed and next what we need to install is a site core mvc and mvc analytics so we look for site core mvc dot mvc mvc 14.2 ignore dependency install this is getting installed now we have installed this we also need to install mvc analytics install before we move further we need to, to go to site core config file here in our I need pub and this config file click on edit here you need to find mvc so I want to check uh, the mvc version it's using so it's using 5.2.4 so we have to make sure that we have only this version installed on our machine or else the project will fail or it will crash when we will publish it so it's 5.2.4 let's go here and check so right now for us the installed version is 5.2.9 we will try to downgrade it to 5.2.4 we go to package manager So oh, 5.2.4 is getting installed now. We can confirm this from there. Yes. Okay. So it's showing 5.2.4 sp.net and version. Now let's go to our site. So this is the blank vanilla installation of site code. Yes, and uh, we will make sure that these babe.config are in build action as null as null and now we will publish it so publish where we are going to publish this one Folder next tab tab and this one 
Oke. Okay. Can rename this as Now I will publish this one. So this is getting published to our location. That this has been published. So we'll go to our pub under root project directory and uh, we can see that new on news or the website has been uh, published here we can go and verify if it has broken our existing very large closure or not so we'll try to refresh this page and hopefully it should get loaded so i hope you are liking the video please uh, watch all the series uh, for site correlated learnings hope you are enjoying the video and uh, thanks for watching it the site should be up and running so this is how we create a mbc project for our site core installation thank you for your time